where are all the men now? Some went to patch their wounds, their lesson learned. Others were more thick-headed. None of them. I ended up marrying. Where's your husband? Gone, Gone where? To the waves. The sea took Aww. him. It was a long time ago. Oh. He didn't respect the sea. Went out there, drunk like a skunk, and sure enough, one day, the boat was found floating empty. The bloated corpse turned up two weeks later. This poor woman. Now, before you tell me how sorry you are for my loss, know that it was four years ago, and I've moved on. There's only so much mourning you can do for a drunk with sinewy muscles. Uh, time really is... Yeah, it's healthy to... Time really is the best cure for sorrow, isn't Us it? Us working folk don't have the luxury to be bed sick with melancholy. I buried him, mourned for an appropriate amount of time, and went on. Yeah. Life didn't really change that much for me and the kids. She glances at the village where two little kids are playing with what look like rocks. This is neither a touchy nor a very She's very topic. indifferent. She looks like she's ready to go on a date with another, better, <laughs> drunk. Ask her. Both of you could need some action. What do you do around here? Like I said, fish mostly. Sail the waves, take care of the kids, pick nets. Right now I'm tarring a little skiff. Is that enough to make a living? Sometimes I also walk to the beach to see what the sea has given up. The sea is full of surprises. Keep it professional, man. Don't make it sound like... I'm not hitting it. on her, relax. This is what is called a conversation. You don't have to be guarded right now. What a, interesting, what have you found? Wood, pieces of glass. Every once in a while we see dead bodies. Human, animal, fish, other odd sea creatures. A mine washed ashore Oh, once. nice. Bottles, drugs also, lost cargo in general. Most of the time it's just wood and glass. All right, major choice moment. You only get to ask one thing. It would be weird to say them all. Choose wisely. Hmm. A mine? This place looks bad. Why don't you leave? And go where? The fish are plentiful here and we get enough orders to get by. It's not great, but it's something. Yeah. Exactly. I don't mean to complain about my sad, pauper life. We do manage all right. We're tough people here. She would like to complain. She would like that very much. But she can't, and she won't. Though, has gotten her this far, and she's not given it up. So, I take it that's your skip? Sure is. The sun, I call her, coated with a fresh layer of tar just yesterday. It'll take some time for it to dry, assuming the sunny days continue. I'm looking for someone. Maybe you can help? Let's see. Who are you looking for? A uh, missing cryptozoologist. Uh, I don't think I know what these are. Care to elaborate? People who look for strange animals. Aha, like snowmen. Snowmen? I haven't heard Two about those. Two guys have been wandering around here, nose in sand, talking nonsense about snowmen in the light. Oh, where did they go? I don't really know. Further down the peninsula, I guess. I mean, that's where they were heading. Who else are you looking for besides snowmen? That's it. Well, how can I assist you then, officer? That's it. That's all. Thank you. Alright, let's check our boots. What are our current shoes? Plus one composure. I feel like these new boots... These new boots are better. Better boots. Give me that money. The planks creak beneath your weight. The ladder leads to a school of fish swimming in the in the kelp. Alright. So 
we're gonna go up and around. The little black swallow circles above you. You hear it chirp. from the west. The source is upstream. A broken pipe? There are people up there on the boardwalk. No boat in the boathouse today. This section of coast hasn't been used in decades. This boathouse is shoddily constructed. Take that. A scattering of bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall. Reaching from one corner to the other. Look, mm. something's gone down. Correct. The density of the bullet holes is unusual. Even in a general, average bullet hole frequency in Martinez sense. Green. Meaning, this is a lot of bullet holes. Looks like fully automatic rifle fire. Something you don't see these days. Just the not. lieutenant also nods. It is quite a scene. The two of you standing next to the lieutenant is nodding so hard it looks like his head is about to snap off. All right. <clears throat> I'm glad we stopped when we did. My neck was starting to hurt. Okay. If there's nothing more, we should get going. All right, we need to do visual calculus. So hold on. We need everything we can to increase our visual calculus. That's a minus. This one? This jacket. These glasses. Okay. All right. Does it increase our odds to get this done? Bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall. Yes, it does. A row of ghostly shades stand facing the wall. There are many of them. A dozen at least. The heads lowered and eyes blindfolded. It's quiet. No sound. No movement. Ten meters away. Other shades are lined up in an orderly manner. Automatic rifles prime. Oh. A gust of wind blows by. The coats of the firing squad flap slowly in the breeze. A single person stands on the side. The sun blazes high up in the sky, baking the planks, the sand, your skin. The order was carried out in the afternoon. A long time has passed since the moment of this fusillading. Rain and brine have since washed all the blood away. Not a trace remains. What is this? The abundance of bullet holes leads to two options. Either an inordinate amount of executions were performed there, or they did not use a conscience round, where only one soldier has the loaded rifle. Looks like this was a mass execution yep. with everyone fully armed. All right, look at the people. A host of men, probably in everyday clothes, ragged from the conflict and covered in dust. They were not sitting, a common practice for executions in some nations as demonstrated by the height level of the bullet holes. They oh. stand, facing the wall. It's impossible to discern any details about their personality or background. Ordinary people, familiar, each and yep. every one of them. Comrades, the forsaken, the wretched, who tried to rise against the horrors of the world. So they're revolutionaries. All right, look at the Seven line of shoulders. Soldiers. In combat uniforms and dark coats holding automatic rifles aimed at the people. Soldiers from some side, but from which one? Look at the person standing. The commandant, the one who gives the order. Machine gun fire crackling through the air. The lights of the muzzle flashes dancing on his face. Kim, who is who in this? I don't know. 
I don't know who died here, lined up beside that horrible wound. It could have been any of the parties involved in the revolution. Perhaps the ones executed here were the loyalist conservatives killed by the communists at the start of the civil war. Or it could have been the communists put to death during the last stretch of the conflict by the coalition forces. It could even have been the employees of the failed R&D center down the coast, as their building was taken over by the revolutionaries. Or oh, maybe. You mentioned coalition forces. Could it have been them against the wall? Yeah. It's very unlikely the coalition forces were the ones who died here. They were always the last ones against the wall. To be honest, if a coalition member was anyone in this situation, it was a commander, mm. the superior giving the orders. A cold sea wind blows away the figures. Okay. Thank you, Kim, for that enlightenment. Ancient paint is peeling off the roof of this shaded bench covered in rust. Oh, crap. We can zoom in and zoom out. The sign says Entree Interdit. stuff. What's over here? This door is not only barred shut, it is inaccessible. Found people, people. Plus two logic, minus one perception. An old ticket taker booth, no longer in operation. All right. Where are we? So we're working our way toward the, toward the boardwalk. It seems. I want to get up onto the boardwalk. Oh, I don't, mm, I don't know. What's this box? Got it. Oh, it's the guy! Here we go. Yes. Nice and easy. No way out, little guys. Not out of this gym. There's a cylinder on the ground in which the man is arranging some netting. It looks like some kind of trap. He notices you. Who's there? Oh, the police. Hello, officers. Is that the police? Why are the police here? Don't worry, Gary. I'll <laughs> handle it. <laughs> you must be Morel, the cryptozoologist. So what do I owe the pleasure? That's sarcasm. He takes no pleasure from your appearance. Lena sent me. Hey, of course. Thank you for passing along the message. Yay! That damn water lock is broken. And we can't go all the way around the 881. The 881 is a raised motorway that separates Martinez from Jamrock. The labyrinth of streets underneath it makes it difficult to pass. Not like walking over a nice water lock. Alright, we did oh, it. Good. We fixed it. We should really be getting back. Gary could use a hot shower and a warm bed. Did he say we can go back now? Yeah. Yes, Gary. We can go soon. If you see Lena, tell her I won't be long. Sir, your wife is waiting for you. I just have to do one more round. See if the phasmid has taken the bait. Then we go in. He refastens a bit of netting that has come loose in the wind. For all his passion, this man is diligent and patient. You could learn things from him. So what is this phasmid? Well, first of all, it's damn difficult to find, which is why we've been knee-deep in the reeds laying traps for it. What makes it so difficult Good to find? Question. Being a phasmid of the order Phantasmodea, a ghost insect, 
It disguises itself as plant matter. In this case, the reeds. Awful lot of reeds around, aren't there? Yeah. And I suspect it may have also developed other specialised techniques to protect itself from predators or scientists in our present case. So what other it's techniques? It's my hypothesis that it has evolved certain electrochemical defences that allow it to interfere with animal perception, impeding pattern recognition, confusing the visual cortex. So it's just disguising but itself. I cannot describe how these defences work much less how they evolve without studying a live specimen yes it makes perfect sense you're beginning to suspect there's something paranatural about this phasmid a ghost insect he said these people are looking for a ghost so you're looking for a ghost no that is precisely what we're not we are zoological specialists Looking for an extant species of phasmid. How big is it? I'm expecting it to be quite giant. One known species of phasmid called the Megaphasmobiozoensis. Size of your forearm. Of man's forearm. So, uh, why are you so interested in this? Typical rookie assumption. Insects are much more sophisticated creatures than those unversed in zoology give them credit for. Even simply catching a glimpse of the Insulindian phasmid would be the apex of my, of any cryptozoology's career. But to study it and its defences, find out how it stayed hidden so long. What have you discovered about Very it? Very little, I'm sorry to say. No one's ever captured a specimen, so all our information is based on first and third hand accounts. So, no one's ever actually found one? Not yet. That's what makes it a cryptid. So, someone just made it up. <clears throat> just out of curiosity, if there's no proof of its existence, how do you know it's real? I know there it's you go. real. The cryptozoologist says brusquely enough that even he seems taken aback by it. It's clear that his obsession with the phasmid is driven by something more than the pure pursuit of scientific advancement. By which I mean, I've heard enough first-hand accounts to believe quite firmly that the Insulindian phasmid is more than mere superstition. Lena said there's yes. a sighting here. The most recent sighting was by a couple of teenagers along the coast here. That's what brought us to Martin A's specifically. Okay. It's the first credible sighting in several decades. Admittedly, it's an unusual location for this species. But with all the sewage runoff upstream, it probably doesn't matter much anymore. So maybe it just died. To resist the thought, such an extraordinary creature is doubtlessly highly resilient. Are we sure? After all, it's generally thought to be capable of parthenogenesis. Okay, yeah. He means asexual reproduction. Yeah. The females of the species don't need to mate to produce viable eggs. This makes it easier for a species with a small population to survive. This and it shouldn't. Nature does not concern herself with ethical propositions. As a scientist, my interest is strictly dispassionate. Ugh, all right, tell me about these traps. Well, they may not look impressive, but Lena designed them quite cleverly. So I'm sure they'll do the trick. She designed yes. them? How do they work? Simple. Attracted by the locusts, the phasmid crawls down the funnel and, having eaten its fill, can get back out. At least, that's the intention. The net isn't a perfect solution, but we didn't want to use anything that might damage the specimen's delicate exoskeleton. We're using locusts, but I'm going to ask him anyway. Nearly all known phasmids are herbivores, of course. But we've hypothesized that hmm. inside the traps, a number of locusts crawl and tumble over. You should put one. some uh, plants Tiny in there tree just tree. in case, sir. You know. A meat eating stick insect. Does it pretend to be the reeds as part of its ambush behavior? This seems unlikely. Seems kind of unlikely. You for your opinion. We have also All right, so he did put some in plants the in there just in to case. Satiate your skepticism. Not a big fan of skepticism. Man, dude, get over it. That's what science is. You. 
People hating You're your ideas. The hypothesis using Locus as bait accounts for the failure of previous efforts by other teams, which use plants. We have given this some thought. The traps do seem to be deftly and thoughtfully constructed. It's clear the cryptozoologist's wife knows what she's doing. All right, let's yes. talk about something else. What? She's pretty eager for you to come back. To to her, I assure you. All right, we My can't leave yet. understands that just as well as anyone. He looks south where Lena would be. Come on, Morel. We've been soaking out here for days. It's time to go back. And leave the traps? Absolutely not. I won't let Lena down. Come on. She wants us back. I'm soaked up to my nuts over here. We'll both catch reed crabs if we don't dry out soon. Won't let Lena down. Sounds like the cryptozoologist's wife shares a special connection to the phasmid somehow. I didn't know it meant that much to her. Of course it's important to her. She's seen it. A verified sight oh. on record. One of only four this century. And it's hers. Well, she didn't tell us that. Yes, that's... How we first came to know one another, in fact. But that's her it story. It bit her leg off. That's why she's in mine. a wheelchair. <laughs> Needless to say, you must ask her about yes. the mysterious phasmid. Suffice to say, it's long been our dream to find proof of the Insulindian phasmid together. I can't abandon course now. Maybe you should go warm up, come back oh, in a bit. No, no. The traps need to be monitored. Hey, SS yes, Penetration, schedule. welcome. We How are you doing? If the phasmid were to starve while we were sitting tea at the hostel. It will still be in the trap. You will have proof that this exists, Morel. He's dead set on this. Hmm. I could All right. go for some trap setting. How did you become a cryptozoologist? I like animals and puzzles. Searching for cryptids is a bit of both. He seems reluctant to talk about himself. But he'll open up if you prod a little. So you're living your childhood dream out here. It's not Charles play. Just because Yeah, well he hasn't found one yet. I don't know. Why not just be a real zoologist? Real. I'm okay. I know you think one is a respectable person. Can't believe it's only Tuesday. While the other is superstition. Everyone does. My methods are the same as those of other scientists. I'll simply draw upon a wider variety of evidence. Oh, this guy is painful to talk to, though. That something truly surprising might happen. And has anything truly surprising ever happened, Morel? No, as I said, I have yet to catch a cryptid. Although I have come close. Close enough to keep trying. So what kinds of evidence do you have? Forgotten regional law to newspaper accounts. Like the one that brought us here. To look for the phasmid. And I keep a very open mind. Mm -hmm. He's interested in things that people believe that scientists don't. So you think other scientists don't listen to ordinary people Most enough? Most establishment scientists only care about reputation and remuneration. Not real research. And certainly not That's the literally what they do is real research. Of both the field. And basement archives can be dangerous places. But I know what he means. Sometimes they can have an ego and only care about their one thing. So have you ever just never? So you have never discovered a cryptid? No. Very few cryptids are ever discovered, and not for a lack of trying. To stay hidden is a cryptid's primary quality. It's even in the name, cryptid. So how many have been found? Of the list of cryptids kept by the Cryptozoological Society of Shemni, which is 4,082 items long, about 2,000 have been confirmed Woo. as hoaxes. All right, add this one to your Two list. Two are categorized as confirmed discoveries. The rest are in differing stages of discovery, refutation, and data collection. So only two out of 2,000 or 2,500 or something are real? Yes. The Chateau Quan forest pygmy, who turned out to be an extinct species of primate, and a cave salamander from Hugo Grad, who is, honestly, quite unremarkable. It's in a zoo somewhere. We cryptozoologists are brutally honest with ourselves, more so even than the public. With cryptids, 
Most cryptids are hoaxes or they are never found. That does not mean we should stop searching. Then this one will be Indeed. the third. If our expedition is successful, every paper in the world will report on it. From Revachol to Dushan too. It will be a zoological miracle. He has clearly done his math on this. Oh, he is. He there is. There's no surprise. All right, thanks for explaining. Oh, all right. Should we ask him if we can check the traps? We didn't expect you to take such an interest in our work here, officer. That's pretty much yes, the same. Yes, indeed. Both require a great deal all of right. research, attention to detail, and above all, persistence. All right, where are Beautiful the traps? Four in tug. One, two, three. One is to the south, on this little peninsula, by the boathouses there. It's very near. Another we set in Land's End, to the northeast. It's behind a small sand dune there. On your way to the old radio. I thought they were literally Afterwards. right here in front of our faces. Can we see this well? I didn't realize that they're like all over the place. The third is set near the canal, where you crossed by a concrete slab. A big thicket of reeds going up the slope, and among them, Okay. You should check at least one of those before returning to this one, since I just said it. This one's more of a technicality, but still, better safe and stupid than sorry. That seems like a lot. Do we really have time for this extracurricular venture? Why are you having Even any fun? Relative to examining the weak old corpse, I'm not sure making about in the reeds qualifies as. If All you right. think it's important. You have been right before. What if what, what if there's one in there? Once. Just make sure the trap is closed tight. He's not okay. comfortable with the possibility that you're playing the fine, but he's lying about this even to himself. So what if I encounter the phasm in the wild? Oh in the officer. And in the event you Oh my do, god, I hope I find it. I'll spray you with a pheromone mixture I developed. It's made of musk and research chemicals. The pheromone should attract the insect to you, or at least prevent it from bolting at the sight of you. It's quite potent. Will last you about a week. Lay it on Boy's me. Nice choice. All right. I hope you're not paying this. It dispenses it without letting you touch the canister, so it would be precious like holy wood. It is precious. That's All right, cool. let's do it. Which means you two can pack up and go back to. Whatever he thinks about this detour, it's clear that these men are exhausted. And in need of assistance. Finally, someone's talking sense. Thank you for your help. Did it? Now and I will start breaking down, Kim. If you have any more questions, now's the time to ask. If it's more cryptic related business you want to discuss, no, well, I have nothing else. Information is vital. Let's just let's just leave. I'm exhausted. All right. So we have to inspect all these traps. We have to do this one after 2200 hours. We have another thing here. Let's uh, check our map. Let's see what else we need. We need interfacing, empathy, my god, I hate this little bar, this scroll bar, perception, perception interfacing all right so we pretty much need perception or interfacing let's do that let's do that one all right guys that is it that is it for me that is it um It's getting late. I'm glad we finally made it past the lock. Now we have this whole other half of the map ready for this. Got to meet up with those weirdos. So, yeah. We'll be picking this up probably Sunday. If I can come back on Saturday, I will. Um, so either Saturday or Sunday we'll be back. And we'll be playing more of this. And, yeah, we're pretty much just going to be playing this till we finish it. I'm trying to do as many tasks as I can. Um just so that we can get the experience. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah.
So have a great rest of your week and weekend, and hopefully I'll see you on Sunday, 8 p.m. Bye.